So to the people that have used my code for carnivore snacks, thank you so much because um, I've gotten notifications and I've gotten, they give me a gift card every time someone uses that. It's a small gift card, but it it's adds up and that will help me when I go to order again. So I really, really appreciate that. I was shocked when I got like three in a row and I was really, really shocked. And so I was like, yay. So thank you to whoever used those codes. I appreciate that so, so much. You just don't know. I mean, that's that's so awesome. And Hi, everyone. Welcome to Crafting Carnivores. I'm Hyla. I'm sorry it's been so long since I did a vlog. just feels like I never have time to do one. So, we've got a lot to go over. I don't remember the last time I vlogged. It's probably been four weeks ago. I know I did a live in between there, so that was kind of a vlog for me. So, I have a lot to go over. I just finished watching Dawn's latest video. She just uploaded it a few hours ago, and it really prompted me to get on here because we are going through the same thing with um, our age and female reproductive a reproductive system what women go through around our age from 45 to 55 so I'm sure you know what I'm talking about I don't want to creep anybody out <laughs> I have to think about my the men that watch the channel too so I don't want to be like too TMI with you guys but I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about so menopause I'll put it in the title too we are both going through that and having similar struggles so it's really nice to have someone especially someone like Dawn uh, to go through this with because it can be overwhelming at times there are times when you don't even notice it but then there are times when it's just very overwhelming uh, the moods um, the depression it, it uh, I mean I I get um, I don't want to say angry but I do get like I don't have patience anymore like not every day not all the time it's not all the time but I feel like I get really annoyed really easily and I mean it's kind of funny but I do find that eating some butter when I get really bad uh, really helps me I don't know what it is about the butter but I've I already heard that before um, with any kind of like mood up and down if you're struggling to eat like a tablespoon of butter and, and about 30 minutes later it, it levels you out and I don't know what it is but it really does help me she was talking about the struggles and like the food struggles and uh, the cravings and stuff and it's been the same for me so I want her to know that I'm you know and I've reached out to her we've talked um, we need to talk more though definitely because we're both having the same struggles but um like the keto treats and stuff like that that's definitely been an issue for me not every day like I said I mean I'll have days like a couple of days ago I did a 24-hour fast I was fine I was OMAD I've had several days where I'm OMAD I can be even OMAD for a week or two and then all of a sudden I am eating crap at nine ten o'clock at night and I haven't been doing that in a year. Uh, that's another thing. Let me stop and say I have been on this journey for a year. I meant to do a video or something when it hit, but it's just been crazy. So I have been do doing this for a year. And at the end of this month will be a year that I've been on YouTube with this channel. So please give me a, a thumbs up or congratulations or something on that because I think that's pretty good. Back to eating. So like last night I ate something late at night last night and I had I think I had fasted like 20 hours or something and I had my first meal was um it was bacon and eggs and I mean it was no it was I'm sorry it was ground beef and then I had a little bit of bacon I chopped up put in it and then I put an egg in it so I was definitely bb and &E, and I was going strong for several hours and then all of a sudden I was eating chalk zero I was eating peanut butter and then I went to bed and I ate some of my homemade ice cream which doesn't have any sweetener in it but I put some zero sugar um I forgot what the, the you know the can whipping cream so it has sweetener in it and a little bit of the um chocolate syrup that's zero sugar so I, when I eat this crazy stuff I am eating like keto treats and stuff at least I am eating like the sugar-free and stuff I'm doing the quotes because we know that they can still raise your blood sugar and all that good stuff but I I feel like that's still like decent that I'm sticking with that stuff because I, I really feel like if I 
went crazy and or if I ate something that's not keto approved or you know whatever the other terms are even dirty keto or whatever if I'm at least staying in that frame that I'm safe and I feel like I'm just worried that if I go outside of it even once that especially during these cravings that I will go crazy <laughs> and eat too much and then I'll feel not only will it make me sick, I know it will because I had stomach issues for years and it was because of the way I was eating. So I know if I eat off plan, it's going to affect my stomach. So that's another re thing that keeps me from doing it. And that's why I don't eat off plan because I don't want to be hurting at night. I don't want to be laying in bed one night hurting because of what I ate. And that's what would happen. So I do stick with at least the keto things, but... I'm telling you guys, and she was talking about the pizza, and like that's all she could think about was pizza, and it just wouldn't go away. That's how it is for me. Like something will get in my head all of a sudden, this craving, and it will not go away. It will not. I, I think I commented that it stalks you. It stalks your brain, and that's what it feels like. I feel like you have a stalker, a food stalker. So anyone that hasn't gone through menopause, you know, women, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to go through it one day. Those of you that don't understand and trying to, you know, if, if someone's going to step in and say, oh, you just need to be stronger or you need to do this or you need to do that, please don't do that. I feel bad enough. It, it's just like she said, It like you feel like a failure and stuff when, when these things happen. When I eat something, I don't care what kind of keto treat it is. Like one night it was one of those um, perfect keto bars. I can't remember what it's called, the peanut butter ones. I only had one left that I got from... Uh, I got in one box during, what was it, Black Friday, and they lasted me this long, and I had one left, and while I was eating that, like 9 and 10 o'clock at night uh, a month ago, if it was that, maybe a couple weeks ago, I don't even remember now, and then the their Rice Krispie Treat bars, I got those hoping that my kids would like them, they don't, but I still have quite a few of those left, and I've even given some away. I was in there eating one of those one night, and I don't even like them that much. It was just like it's just in your brain, and it won't stop. So if anyone's going to message and, you know, give me advice on how I can stop doing that, I mean, if you're just going to tell me to eat something else or just to hold strong or something, please don't because, I, like I said, it you feel like a failure as it is, and if someone – is telling you, oh, you need to do this or you need to do that. Even if it's really with good intentions, it's just going to make me feel worse. It honestly will. So if you'll just be encouraging <laughs> in the comments and leave some of the brutal honesty out because I just, I can't. It, that's another thing with the, you know, like the depression is a huge thing with menopause. They put a lot of women on um, antidepressants. And even my doctor was like, you know, a lot of women have to go on antibiotics depressants and I was like I was shaking my head before she even got it out and she started laughing I said no nope, I am not interested at all and in my brain I was thinking I'll just eat some butter because <laughs> it works for me it does work you know I mean I have like when I'm driving and someone cuts me off or something guys you just don't know it's just like ah! <laughs> I'm not like road raging anybody but I'm just I'm telling them inside my car how bad they are <laughs> and I just get so annoyed and it's like, it's like if I was at 50 before, I'm at like 150 now with the up and down, you know, it's just crazy. But the butter, like I said, the butter does help me. Um, there's so many other symptoms and there's some that are kind of embarrassing and I'm not going to talk about those. If someone wants to email me and, you know, like if they're going through some symptoms and they want to know if that's some symptoms I have... I will talk to you, but I don't want to put that out there, you know, because like I said, I have a lot of men that follow me too, and I don't want to be like too TMI. Of course, the hot flashes. Everybody knows hot flashes. That's all you think about when you think about menopause is women are having hot flashes, and that's it. No, it's a whole lot more than that, and actually chills. And you'll go from chills to hot flashes to chills to hot flashes and back and forth. It's insane. So, but... What I keep thinking about is there are going to be women, not only in our community, but that are going to be new to keto in the future, or carnivore, or whatever, in this in this spectrum, low-carb, whatever, that are going to watch me and Dawn go through this, and I feel like we're going to be able to help them, even if it's just one person that we're 
they're not going to feel alone. Just not feeling alone helps anything that you're going through. So I suggest if you're going through anything, you try to find someone that's going through something similar and it's just going to help so much. It really does. I'm going to get off this topic and go to um, what's been going on. So I think it was three weeks ago. It may have been longer now. We had, I know it was on a Thursday because uh, I had watched uh, RSK Live and Jason, just just Jason Keto. Um, Thursday evenings are their nights to do like lives or premieres and stuff. And I had jogged that morning. I, it was a good day. And then, and it was actually technically Friday morning because it was around midnight, I believe. We had a bad storm come through. I mean, bad. It was so loud. The wind was so loud. I was just like, is, is this a tornado? <laughs> you know, it was, it was scary. Of course, the electricity went out. Didn't really think much of it because that seemed like it, it was going to happen. You know, no big deal. Like, once it started blowing through, it was like, oh, yeah, electricity's going to go off. But it stayed off. And it stayed off. And people in northern, northeast Texas, like where we are, and then in Louisiana, had no power. It was a huge deal. Well... The road that we drive into town, we're in a rural area. It was like trees and power lines covering the road. I didn't even go out to the next morning. And you could see where they had chainsawed all the trees down to the edge of the road. Like they didn't need, they just went to the line, like the white line on the edge of the road. <laughs> and we have one lane going this way and one lane going this way and double yellow lines and about this much space off the side of the road so it was you know some of the branches of stuff were still like in the road but i would see power lines down everywhere we ended up being out five five days five nights five days it was awful texas summer texas heat humidity mostly it was awful I'm trying to save, you know, I have, I keep meat in the freezer. I'm trying to save that. We were lucky, blessed enough to get a generator, not ours, but borrowed generator on the second evening. And I had, like I said, I'd went out that morning. I was able to get some ice. The ice was hard to find. I was able to get some bagged ice and I had to clean out our two ice chests and I put ice in there and I put a lot of the food in there and I condensed, like we have two refrigerators and then a deep freeze. Because we live out in the country, and it's just the thing that people do when they live out in the country. You have extra places to put cold food because you need it. Because you can't just run to town. It's just not convenient. So we have an inside fridge, and then we have uh, an outside fridge with the small freezer on the top. And then we have the deep freeze. And so I was condensing everything out of the house, out to there, because we were able to hook up. When we got the generator, we were able to hook up the deep freeze and the refrigerator out there and then a fan, just one single fan in the house, and that was it. But I had a lot of stuff in the ice chest covered in ice, and I put the rest of the ice in the deep freeze. And we do keep a lot of ice packs, so I did have, like, all these ice packs, so that helped keep everything cold, too, that, that first, you know, day and a half. It was so humid. It was so miserably hot. I didn't sleep hardly at all those five nights because it was just miserable. You know, like our main part of our house is all open. Like this room is my craft room and it's open over here. So all this part of the house was open and so air kind of circulates a little bit, you know, on its own. The bedrooms were just miserable. It was just miserable. I, I can't even begin to describe how miserable it was. There were some nights it was just like I was lucky if I got a couple hours. <laughs> that was it. It was it was really bad. But there were people that were out longer than us. I mean, and we were like cheering when the electricity came on. We were so happy. Um, actually, it was June nineteenth was the night that it came on. Like late at night is when it came on. So I'm sorry, I'm getting messages. That's what that beeping is. <laughs> um, yeah, but we got through that. Mm -hmm. My back was killing me by the time that was over with, and it took me a couple of weeks of a lot of back pain after that. Um, 
probably because I was our house is all electricity I didn't say that it's all electric nothing gas uh, we do have a gas grill so that's how I did all of our cooking so I was out there at least twice a day cooking a whole bunch of meat um, for everybody um, so I would be out there in the heat we do have a covered porch and we do have some shades that we leave down that do shade it and do help keep it cooler in there but I'm over the grill so that's even hotter no relief from that it was pretty miserable but I'm grateful for the gas grill I was grateful that my husband had thought ahead and we had an extra gas tank that was full because I did run out at you know after a couple of days um, and I still have not filled that other one <laughs> and I'm gonna pay the price for that y'all watch so it was just like my back was killing me and part of it was from like moving all that stuff and it was just like one thing after another like when I was moving the stuff I dropped I was carrying you know bottles and, and stuff and one of those jobby co coffee concentrates slipped out of my hand and it was a brand new bottle it early only had like three servings out of it and I actually dropped it closer to the living room and we have cement floors with vinyl these vinyl sheets that are glued down they look like wood but they're not so we have really hard floors that glass bottle shattered everywhere it was so dark in here it was dark that day because we did get storms through those five days too which would cool it down temporarily and then it would get really hot and humid again but anyway so dark coffee concentrate all over my area rug all over my end table glass everywhere the dogs are trying to get in and I'm trying to keep them away I'm trying to clean it all up but I can't see we've got flashlights and stuff shining everywhere still couldn't find all the um <laughs> glass until like it was over it was awful it was just like oh when I stepped in fire ants one day um it was just like one thing after another during that week too it was just like I wanted to scream and then I would have hot flashes I did find my husband has a battery operated fan so he had a fan on him at night and I found this little bitty fan at Walmart that you charge it's got like a USB and you charge it so I would charge it in the car and then I had that little bitty fan on me at night and then he ordered some more of those fans from Amazon and had them shipped overnight with the batteries that it needed because it needed like D batteries I believe and nobody had D batteries either you couldn't get gas either. There was only like half the gas stations that had electricity and lines down the street. It was crazy. Like everyone thought we were running out of gas. Like nobody, no tanker trucks were going to get into our town and, and, and be able to refill the gas. People were acting nuts. <laughs> no ice, no gas. And I know everybody had uh, generators and they need gas for it, but they didn't need like five containers in one day. I mean, it was just people were being ridiculous like they do. So, yeah, that was a mess. I'm sorry this is going to be really long because I feel like I have a lot to go over. So, for the next two, two weeks at least, back pain, that's finally better this week. I, of course, I didn't exercise during that time because we were so freaking hot. I was not going to be making myself even hotter than I was you can't even cool down so I was barely getting any steps and then you know after it's over like I said my back was hurting oh I was so sick too from you know because we would open up the windows when it would when it would be cooler outside and then we would close them up and close the blinds and make it as dark as we could when it was really hot but all that humidity and stuff made me so sick and I'm still struggling over that it was just a mess and then all the menopause stuff on top of that so it was just it was just one thing after another at least I had a half tank of gas in my car <laughs> so I was able to to go back and forth and charge some things in the car and then I think it was day four when I had to go get gas and it was just a little little wait little line by that time people were starting to realize though they were still getting gas and they weren't you know it wasn't the end of the world so yeah yes heavy on the sarcasm here so I'm trying to get back into the swing of things um, and trying to get my steps back up I just I was unmotivated my back's hurting I was sick uh, I'm doing the July steps challenge again so I, and Lindy's my uh, the head of the team I forgot what it's called I don't know if she's a coach or um, 
the leader, I forgot what it's called, but I'm on Lindy's team. Captain. She's a captain. That's what it is. And, um, sorry, I'm reading these messages. So, you know, I want to do well for the team, so that's given me some motivation. And today I jogged. I got my second jog, and it's Tuesday. I jogged Sunday. Jogged today. So that's twice in one week. I have only been doing like once a week, so that's an improvement. Yesterday my steps were horrible, but the day before my steps were good. So that's going to help me get back. And that's what, you know, when I talked about in the past with jogging, like even if I could only jog five or ten minutes, I would do it to stay in, uh, in that habit. That's why, because I go one week without doing it, I can't get motivated to do it again, so... I've been struggling like to get the motivation. I actually uploaded a shorts if you guys didn't see of me jogging. Because um, I was proud. I was like, okay, I got a second one in. Oh, and I got one of my new shirts on. And I still need to take this color off my spreadshirt shop. I keep forgetting because it's just too dark. The black on top of it is too dark. It looked like there was more contrast on this on the computer than there was. Um, so I'm going to take this dark color off so nobody else orders it. And that's the reason why I got it because I was unsure. But it's uh, the world's world's worst vegan. The world's worst vegan. I thought it was funny. Chicken, pig, and cow. I thought it was cute. <laughs> so those are in my spreadsheet shop if you're interested. I've got lots of funny bacon. and I'm sure you guys have seen. If you watch any of my videos, you see me wear a lot of those funny shirts. And then I've got a lot of crafting ones. And mom stuff too because that's what I do on my crafting channel. Speaking of that, I'm starting to get orders for the mum season, so I'm going to start getting busier and busier. I'm going to be more in the crafting community because that's when they need me. You know, I'm over there teaching and uh, sharing what I'm making. So you'll, I'm going to be more absent over here. I'm going to try to keep up with some people's, you know, videos. I won't be able to watch every one, every video you guys put out. It may just be like one once a week or something. And I'll try to put some kind of comment, in, you know, because sometimes I'll watch it in here on the Echo and I can't comment on the Echo. So, you know, if you just see me throw some hearts up, it's probably because I came back later and put it in there or I'm busy and I just wanted to throw up a comment. So I'll still be watching. I just won't be able to watch as much. You're not going to see as much of me. I'll try to try to be, I'm trying to get back into the vlogging um, and you know, to be accountable and stuff. And I've honestly been thinking about trying to video everything I eat again because that really made me accountable back when I did that. It just opens me up to a lot of people that are very vicious about what I eat. Just because I share what I eat doesn't mean I'm telling you that you have to eat that way too. And people don't understand the difference in that. And they can get really nasty. So, you know, I got kind of tired of that. And it also became overwhelming filming everything I ate, but it does make you very accountable, I can tell you that for sure. I'll just have to get back in the habit of it, because a lot of times I'll go sit down with my food, and I'm like, ah, or I'm like halfway done, I'm like, ah, I didn't. <laughs> so, at the end of this video, I did record, I did set up my GoPro on my dash, and as I'm going towards town and then coming back, showing all those trees and stuff, I don't know how well you can see what's down, because our on the sides of the road, it's just trees unless there's a house. So I don't know how well you can see which trees are like down, but I mean they were pulled up by the root or they were snapped in half. And I'm talking huge trees and power lines snapped everywhere and I don't know if you can actually see that, but I am going to put that at the end of the video. So if you're curious and you want to watch that, I, I am going to show that. Uh, I do have some pictures and videos of things I've ate, so I'll put that somewhere in the video. And, yeah, um, I know there's a bunch of stuff I want to talk about, but I just can't remember. I'm going on 24 minutes. Um, I don't want to make this huge long because it's impossible for me to watch somebody's hour-long, 45-hour-long vlogs over and over. I just can't. And I know I don't want to expect other people to do that as well, like especially a weekly vlog. So I try to make them as short as possible, but it's been a while. So if you can't watch the whole thing, I understand. I completely understand. Um, I've got 
923 subscribers is the last count, but I'm only at like 690 something hours. They did start a new thing um, where if you've got 500 subscribers and then 3,000 hours um, or so many shorts, I can't remember what the hours on the shorts, it's a ridiculous amount still. You can do like the memberships and you can get super chat, or yeah, super chats, super thanks, and you can do like a spread shirt shop and stuff. I'm still a long ways from that. And then, of course, they have the regular where you um, where you can start earning with the ads, but you have to have 4,000 hours. So I'm so far away from the hours. It's not even funny. And I'm going to start losing hours once I get to the end of the month because it's only for a year. Like once you reach that year and pass it by, that stuff from a year ago is subtracted. <laughs> so it's going to be really difficult for me to get there. But it is something with my channel that I want to, you know, get to that point. Everybody wants to get to that point and starts a channel and where you get a, a thousand subscribers and you get the hours and they, you know, you start making money off the ads. It's not very much. It's very piddly. Trust me because I have another channel. I can tell you it's a very piddly amount, but it's, it's still some extra income and it is like a goal. And I'm not gonna lie. I want to be there. I want to. It's, it's a goal for the channel definitely so if you have time to like play my videos when even when you're not watching I would appreciate you know helping me out with those hours I really would um, if you can't I completely understand we all have lives and um, you know we have to live them I enjoyed if Dawn's still watching if she gets to watch this I enjoyed all the video and pictures from uh, not only Independence Day, <laughs> but also um, at Cindy's house. That, that was cute. And seeing Smiley and Cindy and everybody, that was really cute. Um, oh, speaking of Smiley, so I was at Hobby Lobby because, you know, I'm a regular at Hobby Lobby. But they have all their spring and summer stuff on clearance. <laughs> you guys know I call Emily Smiley because they have a nickname for me and it's all about you know when you type somebody's name in on your phone or your computer and it changes it so if you type in Emily's name correctly the way it's spelled correctly it'll change it to smiley or it does on most devices and I found it'd be better if I did the front one mini smiley waffle maker <laughs> Uh, yeah. I had to get it. I couldn't help it. I don't know when I'll ship it to them, but it, it, I know they have a waffle maker, and I don't even know if this sucker works very well. <laughs> it was just too good to pass up. So at some point, I am going to ship that to Emily <laughs> James, and maybe Noah will like it. Maybe he'll think it's cute to have a smiley face uh, chaffle or something, but... What else? Oh, I've been struggling with heartburn too, really, really bad. I when I first started uh, using the Javi coffee concentrate, like the first month or so, I didn't have any heartburn, and I was like, "This is awesome!" Because I had kept having to cut back with uh, the crazy cups, even when I had um, decaf. And but all of a sudden, it's come back. But I was having more like carbonated drinks too, so I cut way back on those. But I'm still having bad heartburn, so I've I've been cut back. I'm cutting back on the iced coffees because I was having them every day. But then here I am at two o'clock in the afternoon with the Celsius of just car carbonated. It's like I can't stop. But it does feel better like that. I've been cutting back. I think I was just having too many because I was like, it went from like one iced coffee to two, sometimes even three. <laughs> really enjoying those iced coffees. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Javi either. I love it. It's so good. So speaking of, I do have links in the description. I have coupon codes for Javi. I have them for keto chow. I have them for carnivore snacks. Um, I don't remember what else. I'm sorry. I also um, I have an Amazon store through my crafting channel, so I know I have that in the description too. So if you use that to go to Amazon, anything you purchase from Amazon, I get a very small commission. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just a way to tip YouTubers. So if any YouTuber that you really love 
has an Amazon store or has links to Amazon products and they're an affiliate, they'll get a small commission off anything that you purchase within, I think it's within 24 hours though. So you can't put it in your cart and then come back a week later. They won't get the, they won't get it. So you have to like get it within a certain time frame. And I'm pretty sure it's 24 hours from what I heard. But yeah, I appreciate if you do that. Anything like that, you can help um, people grow their channel. And then of course I have buy me a coffee with... <laughs> Buy me a coffee. Yeah, I love those iced coffees. No, it's Ko-Fi. Um, they just call it Buy Me a Coffee. It's another way to tip YouTubers, and they get a hundred percent of it, though. Unlike when you do like super chats and super thanks, if someone has Ko-Fi or one of the other ones that are, there's different Buy Me a Coffees, and they get a hundred percent of it. So that's a good way to tip people too. So anything y'all want to do to support me, whether it's watching my videos. Um, watching, you know, getting my hours up. I appreciate it. Anything you can do, comment, like, all that stuff really, really helps my channel grow. So I appreciate all of y'all. If there's things that you want to see um, that I'm not showing, because I'm still learning on this channel. I've never done a blogging channel and, you know, like health and I, I don't even know like <laughs> half of what I'm doing. I just like, mm, I think I'll film this. As I've done a few recipes, I'm not great at it. I know I'm because a lot of times there's other people in the house, the dogs are barking, so sometimes I have to end up going and doing voiceover, and it just, it adds so much more work, but I'm trying to film, I, I think people like the grocery hauls, even if they're really small and short, those seem to do well, um, so just let me know what you guys like, and I, and I really want to do more lives, I keep saying that, and it just doesn't happen, but I'm, it, and a lot of times it's because other people are doing lives, and the only time I can do it is, you know, when other people are doing it and I don't want to compete with them. And so it's, it's a lot. But I will try to do some more lives. So, again, if there's things you want to see that I'm not showing or things that I am showing that you're not interested in, you know, just be kind about it, please. Don't be rude about it. There's a way to say something. There's a way not to. So, anyway, I'm going to get off here. Thank you all so much for watching if you're still watching now. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Um, thanks for sharing my journey. And oh, I do want to sh share this too. Um, I'm staying off the scale. I have not gotten on the scale. I remember the last time I got on the scale, I'm staying away from it. It's, it's dangerous for me right now. I just kept going up. And um, yeah, it's just, it's not something that's, that I'm going to do. I, and I'm not measuring either. I know there's some people that were like, oh, you need to measure. You need to measure. I know you mean well. I love you. I know you mean well. No. all Everything is going up. Clothes are getting tighter again. No. No. It's, according to my doctor, there's nothing you can do about it. And I'm trying to do some extended fast. I just did a 24-hour. Um, I did that 140-hour fast. I'm hoping that I can do them again. I'm not like a water fast person. You know, I still have like some kind of drink and stuff like that. But I'm... It's just baby steps. That, that's what Shelly told me, baby steps. So that's what I'm going for. And yes, I'm still struggling with fasting thing. I have to let it happen naturally or it just doesn't happen. And it's all I can think about is food if, if I'm trying to fast. So anyway, okay, I'm going to get off here because I did want to say that. Thanks for watching. Please comment, share, like, subscribe. Tap that bell so you receive notifications on all my uploads and, and lives and all that good stuff. Thank you again for supporting me in my channel and my journey. I am not perfect. I am far from perfect. If you're looking for perfection, just like Don said, if you're looking for perfection, my channel is not for you because I am not perfect. I am not trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to live my life. So thanks for joining, and I will catch you all on the next one. Bye. Double wave.